lovelies welcome back to my channel i am diva c messi in case you don't already know and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous gorgeous wig i have on so this wig i'll call it a ghana weaving or i don't know ghana weaving feeding braids i really don't know what it's called if you have an actual name for it let me know in the comment section down below all right so i did this without any closure without any frontal just the net all right so i'm going to go ahead to show you how i did it i advise you watch this video from beginning to end all right from the main the main to the end because guys i would drop like some very specific tip or technique that would help your process be a lot more easier when you're doing yours all right i've done the struggle so you don't have to this is my first time actually doing something like this all right it's my first first time i'm not going to lie to you so i did struggle a bit but i found my way around it i'm going to share how i did that with you i'm going to share everything i thought and did all right everything i thought was right that you know didn't come out right and what i did to make it better so that your own process would be a lot more easier all right so it's a ghana weaving wig with beads in case you don't know already and so i'm also going to be teaching you how to put the bead in all right so if this sounds like something interested in then make sure to keep on watching guys love you Mwah. okay lovelies first things first i'm going to tell you everything you need to make your own wig i'm going to be using the match cap my closure net the beads i'm going to be using and also my attachment and then my crochet pin which is like the very most essential thing for this tutorial the first thing you want to do is turn your cap your mesh cap upside down you want to turn it to the back and place it on your mannequin head and this is important if you are using a closure lace a closure yard because if you're just using a normal closure you do not need to turn it to the back but i turned it to the back to help with the stitches not showing and help it lay more smoothly so i'm just going to go ahead to measure how many centimeters i need it to be out for centimeter i find out four inches rather or the measurement i find out is better when it's an odd number so the middle will just be the middle i don't know if that makes sense because when it's five you have like five divided by two which will give you 4.5 i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so I prefer an odd number in case you're doing yours too. So I'm just going ahead to pin that lace yard down. I'm going to go ahead to pin the amount I need for where I've measured out already. All right. So I measured how deep I want my parts to be and how wide I want it to be. Then I start pinning down. It's very important for you to leave a lot more than I did at the front of the lace like let it be more than it is right now as you're seeing on the screen that will help your work be a lot more easier so i'm just going to go ahead to cut off the excess lace because you do not need the rest of the lace actually just the one you pin down or right, you want yours to be more smoother than mine okay you don't want any creasing anything on the wig you just want it to lay very flat you want the closure net to lay very flat and very important like i said make sure make sure some closure net comes to the front like you want to leave more than two inches nets on the front and not just that like few i left i don't think what i left is more than an inch all right so take notes so i'm just gonna go ahead and sew that down i'm sorry for my voice i have actually i actually have like a cracked voice right now but i just really had to put this video up so I'm really sorry if it sounds bad. So I'm just going to go ahead to turn the, the match cap. I'm going to go ahead to turn it back. But before turning it, I'm going to cut, cut off the SS net we have because it's no longer useful. So I'm just going to cut that off before I start the wig. So this is your match preparation. If you're not using the closure, you do not have to do this part. Like if you're not using the closure yet, you don't have to do this all right so i'm just going to go ahead and place this on the mannequin head and then start our wig tutorial properly so from cutting it i discovered that 
like I had a bit of like loose and I really don't like taking any chances with my wig if you know me already so I just went ahead to sew that down all right I don't want it to ever lose in the future because I really hate going back to something I've done so I'm very very like very what's what's the case now? I don't know but I'm very very like I just want my not very tight so I don't have any mistake so I'm gonna go ahead to use the two finger method if you watch my videos you've seen me use this before but I don't really think this works as much for this style of wig I don't think so I I found it wasn't really necessary actually for what I would tell you is put more at the back and less at the side that really helped a lot because the back is going to need more coverage because you have a lot of the front going to the side so the back will feel empty so just pull more at the back and less at the side if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna go ahead to cut my attachment actually I had three attachments that I got one small one and two bigger ones but the small one I cut it into four which I use for ventilating and from the bigger one I cut them into two and I just went ahead to stretch the one I cut into two so guys I'm just going to do the back like I really didn't want to do much of this on camera because the main focus here is actually our front right and I've actually done this on my previous video so if there's any confusion on this step you can actually check out my previous braided videos and if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment section down below and I'll surely get back to you all right so the only thing I do is cut out the attachment I'm going to be using crochet into the net and then tie it up and then braid as normal that's the only thing I do for this part actually so guys I want to quickly speak on the weight of the wig you have to be considerate of the weight of the wig when you're putting in beads you don't want it to be heavy you don't want it to be too heavy and drag you back i'm not saying you can't make it but just be careful just be careful whenever you're doing make sure you're doing it right in moderate proportion so it doesn't drag you back if you understand what i mean all right so actually i'm braiding this now and i do not braid to the end why because I'm going to be putting my bead in so I don't need to braid to the end so just braid it to where you think you want your length to be that's all and just let it be until uh, much later when you're putting on the bead so getting into the crochet part of this video all right so I'm going to be ventilating that net to fix in. I'm just going to take my time for the middle part you already saw me measure this middle part out I'm going to be taking my time to do this one after the other on like when i'm making it for the line i don't know if that makes sense but taking your time to do this will help you with how accurate the line is going to be like how accurate your center part is going to be so i advise you do it before and it gives it a more natural feeling actually it is a very natural feel than when you just have a big lump and you're just breathing it i don't know if that makes any sense but yes so i advise you do this before you start your braiding all right so you're going to see how it looks like because i did it this way you're going to see how the middle part of the wig looks like i actually made a mistake in the center part but it's not actually a very noticeable mistake but i did make a, mis make a mistake because i was doubting myself so i think if you do a center part just have it in mind that when you start weaving it almost looks like you were not correct i, I don't know if you try it out you figure out what out you figure out what i'm saying but it almost looks like you're not correct because braiding it down will drag it so it looks as if the line you've crocheted before is wrong but just keep on going actually so i just go ahead to do this same thing on the other side you can see i braided the other side i'm just going to go ahead to do that same thing on the other side before I actually now start braiding one by one so very important I actually always use a measurement so my thing like my hair is like symmetrical or like in place after I'm done 
so what i did was i used my tape and measured one inch off one inch in if you can see what i'm doing i do it one inch off and one inch in so that's the spacing i actually used in creating that the braids so they look natural and they follow the same line if you get what i mean you don't have to do it my way you can draw it free-handedly but it's actually a lot more neater like this and a lot more you know arranged if i can say that so i'm just going to go ahead and just draw that line and make sure what i'm ventilating follows that line very important guys So now I'm going to start making the first line for you to see. Alright, so what I start with, I actually start like really small at the front. And at the front, I actually like do like three on the same line. I don't know if that makes any sense. But you can see I'm actually taking my time and making. I need it to be small, but I still need it to have volume. So I kind of crochet the same place like so many times like so close to each other so it gives that volume so it's not like really slim because that's not the vibe i'm going for but if that's the vibe you're going for you can actually do that all right so i'm just going to go ahead to ventilate it or rather crochet it in and just take your time guys really just take your time this is actually on speed like i'm slow and it's on speed actually because if i had not put the video on speed like this video will be so long and I really did not want it to be longer than it is. Alright, so I am actually taking my time. Like take your time. Yeah, don't be in a rush when you're making your week. Take your time. And the thing is that the more you do it, the more you get used to it actually. So with that, I'm just going to go from smaller to bigger and then to the biggest kind of. You get the vibe. You have to start, you have to start smaller and then progress to it being bigger and like i said before i did not stretch my ventilating hair so for the bigger part i actually found this was more helpful when you cut it first before coaching it in it's just more helpful because like you get to control the size you actually want if you understand what i mean you get to get to control the size you want you know that um we have the m from when we sewed the the lace to the um, match cap we're going to cover that up too with the braid so if you're measuring it for you're measuring the space you want the lace to take put that in mind that you're actually also going to be braiding on the match cap itself because that will help cover the black and let the match cap be like it won't show and the stitches won't show all right so i'm just gonna keep on doing that all right it's time consuming actually but it's worth it at the end i assure you it's actually very worth it at the end when you see like like at the point i was like should i stop <laughs> i was like should i stop but when i saw the progress and how it was coming out i was actually really impressed by it so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to braid it as i would normally do like as I would normally weave like normal or back but like some people will want to do it the other way which is like the Ghana weaving way that you will feed in your braid you can do that also if you like that method but I just feel this method is actually more beginner friendly and it works well too All right it looks cute it works well like what else <laughs> like you could go ahead to feed in but like this is more neater and sometimes you may be feeding in and it just won't be working all right so if you can look closely the ones i didn't actually tie i pick them one after the other from side to side i feed in like i pick from one side put it under and then twist like i would break normally and pick up the other one like that's the secret to it and then you're good to go and you just keep on braiding
don't worry i just really want you to get the concept because i could only put in one clip of me doing it because of the time of this video all right so i really want you to actually get the concept of braiding it all right so you crochet the ones in front you tie them but the ones at the back you don't tie them because like with bigger knots it's going with bigger hair it's going to form a knot and that will not look pretty it will make your your braid your braiding it will make it look raised and you want it flat so that's why we don't tie the one at the down and we just feed it in if that makes any sense all right so i'm just gonna go ahead to finish up the rest of the week all right so you saw that i used the shorter one for it all right so i've already done the other side so i'm just gonna go ahead to feed in the longer braids the one we cut into two i'm gonna go in and feed it in into the ones from that we ventilated right because if you had used a longer hair to ventilate it would have been a lot more stressful it works it's possible but battling with long hair and trying to weave it trying to get it in place it would have tangled a lot if you want to do that it's fine if you want to go through that it's really really fine it works too but this is just more easier and you know i'm here to make your work easier for you all right so it's better this way but if you want to go the other route where you have to do it the long way it's fine too So I'm just going to weave the hair like I would normally do and then the place you know you want to feed in is when you find the hair starting to thin out before you actually want it to thin out like maybe the um, ventilation hair is finishing up it becomes a bit too thin then you go ahead to add more and just feed it in to the desired weight you want all right so that's how you feed in basically so I've gone ahead to braid every one of them. I've gone ahead to finish up every one of them. So now I'm going to go ahead to put in the beads. I've put in the beads on every one of them, just remaining the last one I left for doing on camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead to take that hair. I'm going to fold it to, I'm gonna fold it in the part I braided. That's more easier than folding it in the part you did not braid. So I'm going to fold this in that part, then I'm just going to go ahead and put in my bead. You can actually do this with a crochet pin. You could do this with a bead picker, all right, but using the hand also works, all right. So you might want to go ahead to do any one that works well with you, all right. So I just push that up. The thing I do, I put all the beads in every one of them, first of all, push it up and then come back down, bring one of them down measure the length i want it to be all right you can see what i'm doing and then i'm just going to put my rubber and tie it until it is very very secure like you want it very very tight all right you don't want it to lose and make sure you get original rubbers guys there are fake rubber out there in the market so make sure you get original rubbers that will not cut because they are fake ones that do cut all right so i'm just going ahead to cut off the excess hair i have and then that's it guys that's it fixing in my beads all right pretty simple pretty easy okay so i'm just gonna go ahead to trim off anything that shouldn't be there and because like we didn't actually stretch the hair it might have a lot of a lot of like poking out air but that's fine you can actually go ahead to trim it just take your time to trim it so right here now i'm sewing down my hair why because i don't know if you do when you do your braids if they sew it because it's very important you sew it so like it doesn't move all right it doesn't move it stays as it should stay all right so no matter how you shake your head it doesn't move an alternative to sewing it like this is actually just braiding it down to the wig cap that place you're sewing it that's a very good alternative but i didn't want to i didn't want to braid it out far down so anyone you do works well it works perfectly well so you want to sew it all round like you want to go all round make sure they're in place as you're sewing 
take your time just make sure they're all in place and sitting well and flat you can see the other side is raised and this side is more flatter now all right so now i'm just going to go ahead to show you how flat this is show you the back i made some errors with the back but that's because i didn't measure right and that's totally fine it happens <laughs> all right so this is it this is how the wig is looking like so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in hot water all right so yeah guys hey lovelies we're done making the wig right now and guys i i've actually put it on like just for a couple of seconds and kind of to see how it looks and i think it actually looks amazing actually all right <laughs> so my hair is not like um what's it called my hair is not braided like it's like loosened or so because i've been on my hair for like a while i don't want to weave all back for some reason all right so i just wore this wig cap so the wig might not be as laid as we want it to but that's okay all right that's okay. i just thought to drop that in all right so this is how the wig is looking like with the beads the shenanigans and all so i'm just gonna go ahead right now and try it on as always you know if you want to try it on you should put powder on it i'm not gonna do that now but normally you should put your color foundation or powder on it all right i just feel this wig cap will suffice if it doesn't i might put on it so i'm just gonna go ahead to put it on so i'm gonna start from the back to the front okay i think i have to put foundation on this it's too white i'm gonna put foundation and be right back so lovers i've gone ahead to put my foundation on the wig all right you can see it's no longer as bright as it was before all right so if you i didn't do that on camera because i've done that on camera on my other videos my other wig tutorials so in case you don't know how i did that you could check out my other wig tutorials i have a playlist you could check that out as well all right so i'm just gonna get right into wearing this again <laughs> all right this guys this wig cap that i used is like the best wig cap ever i'm just gonna say that so <laughs> this is how it's looking guys i'm still gonna show you the full length but let me go ahead to cut yeah this is it guys obviously i'm gonna stand and show you with the bead like obviously all right so this is this with the bead all right like yeggy all right so i did my best to kind of make sure that the beads were equal all right you could i don't know if that's the style i don't like it when the beads are not equal but if that's what works for you then that's fine whatever works for you works for you all right so this is the wig guys this is the wig i think we can go ahead to you know style it however we want to and just you know have fun if there's one thing i wish i did better was to actually like put like fuller ones at the back while leaving the side a bit more scantier all right so i should have done the back to be more fuller <laughs> so lovely thank you so much for watching this video and if you watch watching the end of this video you already know you're the what you already know you're the real mvp thank you so much and i'll see you in my next tutorial guys love you bye